What's up guys, it's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to talk about the markets and breaks and how things are looking. Let me first mention that I'm not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And don't forget to smash the like button. It not only benefits me, it benefits the entire community as a whole. Anyways, let's talk about the market, what's going on so far. So looking at the four hour spies holding up very, very well. Like I said in my earlier video, the PPI report was quite good. We got some good data. Pretty much everything was below expectations. The market's liking this so far. Now, tomorrow we have CPI data coming in. I'll talk more about that maybe in my next video. But for now, I just want to say it's going to be the next major catalyst that's going to determine if this trend continues. But regardless of that, right now the market is looking more bullish. SPY is testing this resistance on the 4-hour 200 EMA at 538.8. If 538.8 breaks, our next target will be this gap fill around 541. And then above that, we have 544 coming. So those are going to be your targets. 538.8 is resistance. Uh, above that, we have 541, followed by 544. If we end up projecting, keep in mind that 537.5 is going to be our first support. And then, then if we lose that, 535 is the main level, basically. If we lose that, then yes, I will be a little concerned of a little bit of a dip. But there's nothing close to that on the chart right now. So I just want to make it very clear. The chart is heavily favoring the upside. When you look at the daily on SPY, you'll notice that we're nearing a bullish cross in the PPO. And we happen to be testing the 50 EMA, which aligns with 538.65. So we're trying to break that right now. You know, if, if we do get two closes above that, I think we easily fill the gap above. And we're looking pretty good so far. So this chart is looking bullish. Everything is looking bullish about this. It favors the 540s to be coming, 544 or so on the daily. But let me just say that as bullish as we may look from a technical standpoint, Technicals aren't everything. It depends on CPI and also what happens with the whole Middle East situation. As of right now, there haven't been any major attacks, so the chart still suggests upside, but always be cautious. And that's the reason why I'm kind of like careful with my positions. I'm not just going too heavy. I'm kind of taking things easy for now, being kind of cautious simultaneously because I know about all the geopolitical factors that are in the way. But regardless of that, okay, the charts are still looking bullish. ES looks bullish, okay? The four hour is trying to approach this key resistance. I said in my morning video, we might be trying to break past 5,400. Lo and behold, that's what's happening. Watch this resistance right here next at this 5,435 area. We have previous uh, support becoming resistance. If that breaks, our next target is 5,460. That's going to be our um, very close to our 200 EMA. If we turn back down, watch 5,400 as key support break, then we're going to be looking at 5,368. Overall, nonetheless, we still look bullish. We're still looking more bullish, and we suggest that upside is likely going to be coming. For SPX, we're looking more bullish. I'm looking at 5,400 as our key resistance right now. Uh, that's very close to our 50 EMA. If we manage to break that, our next target is going to be 5,436 and possibly even higher than that. And if we turn back down, we have a gap below to fill. So if we end up losing 5370 after CPI, we're easily going to fill the gap all the way down to about the 5340s. But like I said before, we still look more bullish on the four hour and also the daily time frame. So SPX is looking pretty good. And we favor upside. It still favors upside. Looking at NVIDIA, uh, I said to watch resistance at this 113 area. If that breaks, our next try will be closer to 116. I, I want to adjust that to 115 to 116 just to be a little bit more precise because that whole range is going to be a very, very important level to watch for. If we break 116, our next target is to be 120. If we fail, we lose 113. We're going, going to be dipping back down to about 111. But just know the chart is favoring 115 to 116 is resistance and possibly a break above that. We look more bullish, and I think that this imbalance up here is trying to form a cup. So it's suggesting upside is more probable. It's more favorable to see upside, but just to be safe, make sure you look at CPI and such. Bitcoin is looking pretty decent. It's kind of choppy right now. We want to see if it could break past 59,600. If that breaks, we could be pushing higher for 60,000. But we're still kind of choppy. I'm liking Tesla. We had that big interview by Elon Musk for former President Trump. Uh, uh, maybe not an interview. It was more of like a conversation. But, you know, this was, you know, very, very interesting for Tesla, seeing that how you know, the share price is reacting kind of positively to that, not to mention this big news. So we got a nice move to the upside up almost 4%. Watch this 205 resistance. If that breaks, uh, I think we could be going all the way up to about 208.5. And if we lose 205, look at support at 202. Overall, we still look more bullish and we favor upside. 
for the QQQ, we look very bullish, very strong. This is above even what my targets were. I was talking about 454 then 457 for the gap fill. And I said if that broke, we could be looking for 460. Lo and behold, that's very close to what ended up happening. But I was I was favoring more like towards 457 to be our target. We actually went higher than that. So it's looking bullish. So if we hold above 460, look at 462, then 464.4 as resistance levels. For support, make sure you watch basically 454. Uh, we have 454 is one of our most critical supports. As long as we're above that, we favor upside. And the chart looks very bullish. We look very, very bullish right now. I'm going to be 100% honest. Apple's looking bullish. We're trying to push higher. We're going to be looking for a push for 223. And if we lose 220, we'll be looking for it to back down to about 216. The chart still looks bullish. Supermicro is looking more bullish. We, you know, I called out 580 in the morning. That's what ended up happening. We did touch that. And then we came down a little bit. But we're still holding up very well. If it breaks 580, we're going to be going up to about uh, 605. And then if we end up losing support right here around this 550 area, I'd basically be looking at uh, uh, this 546 zone and then followed by the 520. But we still look more bullish. It looks like it wants to retest 580. The Russell's trying to balance. I wasn't liking the setup yesterday with the double top, but now we're trying to rebound. But just know uh, we're not as strong as SPY and ES or the others out there. On the Russell, look at 206 as resistance. If that breaks, we're going up to 208. And if we don't hold above that, we're going to be dipping back down to about 204. We're kind of stuck at 206. We'll have to see if we can break that. It's going to be a tough resistance, so give it some time. For others out there, like Amazon, we're just shuffling around 168. If we do break out higher, we'll be looking for the gap fill for 171. If we lose 166, look for a dip. We are still holding up. We're just kind of choppy, but we do favor upside a little bit more. Coinbase is trying to hold up. Uh, watch 194.93 as our support. If we hold above that, I'll be looking for basically 200 plus. Uh, if we don't hold above that, we could be dipping back down to about 191, the 190 area basically. Uh, so we're just kind of choppy. It's not that fun to watch. Meta, I said if we break 520, look for 525, which is exactly where we are. If we lose 520, we're going to be dipping back down to 508. And if we hold above 525, we break the highs. Our next target will be all the way up towards the 530s. I think that this chart greatly favors upside. We came down and every time we dip, we're just getting bought back up. So we favor the 530s, especially as we have this imbalance to fill. So it looks pretty good. It looks like a nice accumulation structure, nice cup that's forming. For Microsoft, we called out 412. I called this out since the morning. And we're still looking more bullish. If we continue to push, I'll be looking for basically 415. If we lose 412, look for a dip back down to about 408. The chart still favors upside. And the last one I'm going to go over is Google. If we break 166, look for 168. Otherwise, we're just kind of choppy right now. And I think we're kind of choppy instead. So we're not really breaking out, but we're just choppy. So give it some time. Anyways, SPY is holding up very well. The market's doing a great job at holding up. So we'll just have to see how things go. With that being said, I want to thank you all so much for listening. Have a great day. The market is favoring upside, but whether or not this continues depends on a lot of different factors, such as whatever happens in the Middle East, not to mention the situation with CPI. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. I'll see you guys in a few hours to give you guys another update. And peace out.